Hey, Corbin Leatherwood here, and uh, just wanted to share with you some of the activities that we had at the range today. I really wanted to prove a point that the art scope is a great tool uh, to teach uh, inexperienced shooters how to engage long range target without having to worry about the holdover. And uh, to prove that the art scope is a great tool, great accessory for hunters, especially young or inexperienced hunters, to be able to rapidly acquire and engage long range targets and hit them. So we started out at a 300 yard, that square target you saw was a 300 yard target, the round target was a 500 yard target. And uh, these ladies, uh, neither one of them have used this scope. Now of course my daughter's seen it. Uh, before, uh, but she never shot over 25 yards before today. I wanted to make sure she had the fundamentals of shooting. She's 13, and she shoots shotgun, shoots a pellet gun, a little bit 22, and uh, took her to an indoor range and let her shoot at about 75 feet uh, with the CMR. Uh, again, looking for tight shot group, looking for good trigger squeeze, breathe technique. Wanted to get uh, the fundamentals down. So today's the first day that she shot over. 25 yards. The uh, our cousin, she has shot. She's familiar with shooting. She shot at longer ranges. She's used uh, iron sight a bit, used some scope, uh, but always had to deal with holdover. And uh, and so uh, in these examples, you will see that these young ladies engaged successfully 300-yard target, then goes to the 500-yard uh, target and uh, have first round hits. Uh, it's, it's incredible. It's a great tool, great resource, and I hope you guys enjoy uh, the footage you're about to see. Uh, I got a great uh, amount of joy out of being out here with my daughters um, and cousins and, and shooting with them and uh, bringing up the next generation of shooter. Target. Squeeze and hold. Wind's picked up. Go back to the hash. Target. Great job. Great adjustment. Again. Target. Good job. All right, now we need to change the cam. So where we've got it is in manual mode right now. So I can zoom back and forth between two and a half to 10 power. We are running about six power at that 300 yard target. Okay. So I'm just gonna push it forward and it's got these two little pins. Mm -hmm. And so it'll squish in. So see how it's flush now? Yeah. Well, that'll allow me, let me loosen up my, this I tightened down so it wouldn't turn. Okay. Uh, loosen up the cam ring or the cam locking screw and then I can just simply turn the cam and see this right here? Mm -hmm. We know that we're trying to get about 460-ish meters, mm -hmm. which is close to 500 yards, you know, right, right around in there. Yeah. All right, so again, this will eliminate your holdover. Now, because we're in manual mode, I'm gonna go ahead and lock this down just so we don't accidentally mess the okay. cam up. Yeah, pull this out. I don't t tighten that screw down, I just leave it so I can pull it out. Okay. And then we're going to crank you all the way to 10 power. So you got 10 power out at that 500 yard target. Now again, compensate for your win using that mill dot reticle. Okay. And uh, uh, go with that first dot again and see what that gets you. And if if uh, we're, we, if the wind's changed a little bit, we can adjust off of that. Okay. Okay. All right. Target, oh my gosh, first round hit down range. Good job, good job. Target, great work, great work. First two rounds are hits. Target, three in a row, 500 yards. Great job!
Shooting at the 300 was really easy. Didn't have to hold over, um, counted for the wind a little bit, but that was easy. Took me seconds to aim and shoot, and I hit almost every time. Um, adjusting over to the 500 was really easy. Um, moving around a little bit. Didn't have to, again, uh, worry about the holdover. Wind was easy. Um, I like how the crosshairs and the dots, everything, are perfect. Um, definitely will use the scope again. Easy. You'll notice uh, today that I had them uh, using the the system together, so they had the zoom ring uh, coupled with the cam ring. But once we got the cam set at the appropriate range, then we'd simply pull that zoom ring back, and then I'd crank it over. I had them running six power at the 300, had them running 10 power out at the 500. Uh, it was a great feature with this art scope. Uh, you're not necessarily uh, stuck with the exact same size of uh, image uh, when you're taking a, a shot down range you do have the option of using the manual mode uh, sometimes you'll see me I'll tighten this uh, screw down to make sure the cam doesn't turn that way if they're if they're tinkering with it and they accidentally get the uh, the little detent pins caught inside the camera they don't adjust the cam so we we set the cam at the right range and then I tighten this down so it wouldn't spin but you just loosen it up and then and then you can spin it again so we noticed from the dust plumes that we did have a little bit of wind out here so uh, we were able to use uh, the no math mill dot reticle to help us compensate uh, for that wind the great thing is you've got not only the the mill dots but you also have the hash marks the framing hash marks so that gives you just one extra reference point when you need just a little bump uh, to get over and compensate for a, a nice little crosswind I personally think it's great that my daughter is getting to use her grandfather's invention I wish he was out here with us uh, physically I always talk to him and uh, I gotta believe he's smiling uh, watching his granddaughter hit 12 in a row <clears throat> at 300 yards when she's never shot over 25 yards before today. Successfully engaging the, the 500 yard target. Unfortunately, I didn't catch it on film. I was busy filming her shooting. Uh, but uh, the 500 yard target's a steel target that's stuck in the ground. And uh, um, I didn't bring a big hammer with me, so I was just picking it up and driving it in the, in the ground just with its own weight. Well, it, it did good for a while, but she nailed it, and it fell over in a very dramatic plume of dust. And uh, uh, I wish I had got that on tape. That would have been a really fun to watch. But again, just very proud of my daughters. Uh, very pleased uh, that, uh, that they're able to use uh, their grandfather's invention and uh, uh, continuing the legacy. Again, I hope you enjoy, and uh, for those of you who have used the ArtScope, thank you very much. For those of you interested, please uh, feel free to contact us at Leatherwood Optics uh, to answer any of your questions.